it's interesting when I listen, I don't know about you, Casey, or you guys, when you listen to different people present, like some people they're presenting and I feel like I'm pretty knowledgeable. I'm like, and they're re- talking about some really deep science. I'm like, what is this guy talking about? Like, I just can't, it's hard to follow. Um, it's about making things really, in, in my opinion, simple. So I'm going to make fascia development really simple. So basically fascia, you know, it's a collagen, right? It's 90% uh, water uh, and collagen, roughly 10 to 20% are, are cells uh, within the fascia. But it's, it's basically proteins. It's a, it's a collagen, just like your, your Achilles, your tendons and your ligaments. It's all, it's all collagen, right? Uh, some elastin is in there collagen and basically it gets developed just like osteoblasts are developed bone cells right uh, or develop bone i should say you know, develop bone cells um fibroblast cells uh, create this collagen and fibroblast cells we have millions of them that are crawling around our body like little spiders and basically they are casting webs of collagen, literally, like a spider would cast a web, casting webs of collagen throughout our body as we need it, based on the amount of stress we put on our body, the loads we put on our body, the direction of loads we put on our body, and the lack of load or postures we put it in our put it on our body. So if I'm sitting at my desk like this every day, or if I take a long car ride, what happens? My hip flexors get stiff. Your muscles necessarily the tissue themselves aren't stiff although you might have a spasm a neurological you know spasm or trigger point if you will uh but that stiffness predominantly from my research is coming from the fibroblast cells literally casting new webs of fascia to lock that position down uh and then when you stand up after a long car ride you're literally kind of like the way you take your hand through a spider web and you clean out the corner of your house that's exactly what's happening you're, you're, you're breaking up those, those collagen webs. Now, what happens if you're sitting at your desk like this for 30 years and you never get any body work or never pull your shoulders back? Those webs are so strong now and so tight that you need manual work to break that up. And that's why after surgery, guess what? They don't put you in a cast anymore. They want you up walking right away because once you become immobilized, those fibroblast cells are casting lots of webs and then eventually your career is over. Now, unfortunately, when Chris Sims ruptured his spleen when he was playing in the NFL as a starting quarterback for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers in 2005, I think it was, or six, uh, we didn't know a lot of this back then, um, had to get emergency surgery. They cut open his, his you know, anterior abdominal area and uh, cut right through the fascia, disregarding all that, and then sewed him back up, and he was immobilized for a little bit. And then what happened was he didn't realize this after, you know, a couple of years because he was living down there with the Tampa Bay doctors and whatnot. Um, got so locked down in his core, he was never able to throw that football the same way again. Um, and that's because of that, you know, when you throw as a throwing athlete, I talked about the fascia around the shoulder, but also the core plays a huge role. Like, you know, not as thick as the chest, but the, the fascia development around the around the core is very important, that fascia wrapping. Uh, if that gets cut and then not managed correctly post-surgery, you know, it's it's over, you know what I mean? And then then you're getting older, now you're in your 30s, uh, you, you're not going to get back to that NFL level. Now, although he did come back, but he was never the same. Uh, and, and we really realized that. He realized that, you know, later on. And um, I don't think the research was as strong back then as it is now. <laughs>